Number one, put God first. Put God first in everything you do. Everything that you think you see in me, everything that I've accomplished, everything that you think I have, and I have a few things, everything that I have is by the grace of God. It really began to fall into place for me until I started really spending time with God every day. The Holy Spirit is the one who puts it all together for us. And not only that, it offends God when we leave Him out. He's more important than anything else. Until you learn that, you're going to be in sad shape. I love Psalm 27, 4. It says, One thing have I desired, and that will I seek after, that I might dwell in His presence, behold His beauty all the days of my life. You need Him a whole lot more than you need me. You need Him a lot more than you need any of your friends. And I know we get all funny about this time with God thing. Well, what do you do? I don't think it matters so much what you do as it does just that you're giving God the time. Just by giving Him the time, you're saying, I need you. Now, every morning is a fresh start in our life. Mornings are really wonderful. And you might say, well, I'm not a morning person, but I suggest you pray to get over it and stop saying that. My favorite time of the day is the first two hours of the morning. I want it quiet. I want to be left alone. I put together a quick list of things that reveal how little we trust. When you choose to, to worry, you do not trust. When you try to fix what is impossible, you do not trust. When you hurry ahead and don't wait for the Lord to, to move and to change, you, you do not trust. When you lie awake, twisting and turning at night, you do not trust. When you doubt biblical principles and promises that are right here in the book you love and study, you do not trust. When you turn to others first for help, you do not trust. When you listen to human counsel and give a higher priority to that, then the principles you have just learned, you do not trust. When you manipulate and maneuver situations, you do not trust. When you step in and take charge without praying and being led by the Spirit of God, you do not trust. Allow just the busyness of life to overwhelm us and overtake us. We all have a million things to do. There's our jobs, our families. We have responsibilities of all kinds. We have chores to do. Plenty of activities that can keep us busy. But I want to encourage us to not be busy, but be productive. You see, if we're going to see our dreams and desires come to pass for this year, those things that we're expecting, we're going to have to make room for them. We're going to have to clear out some of the clutter and set some priorities. You see, if you want a healthy, strong family this year, if that's the desire of your heart, you're going to have to move some things around. You're going to have to give your family the first and best of your time, not your leftovers. Maybe you're learning a new career, getting ready for a promotion. You can't stay out with your friends all night and expect to get to work the next day and perform at your top ability. Your desire is to get out of debt this year. This is the year I'm getting out of debt. I can feel it, I can sense it. You can't go and spend everything that you see. You can't buy everything that you see. You can't be spending your money. You've gotta learn how to save it. You have gotta set some priorities. You see, if we're going to see our dreams and desires come to pass. We can't just let everything occupy our time and get us off course. You know, at one point in my life, I thought that multitasking was a gift. You see, it's so easy in the morning to pull our phones off of the charger and begin to look at our text messages, our emails, check out social media, and before we know it, time has gotten away from us. 
So we have to put that God rock aside for a later time. But see, if you want God to direct your path, if you want Him to crown your efforts with success, He says, put me first. Nobody wants to move in the wrong direction. Nobody wants to waste their time hanging around the wrong people. No one wants to do the things that aren't important. We all want to be productive. We want to reach the fullness of our destiny. So my encouragement today is, let's all make a decision to put the God rock first in our jar of life. And then all the other things will begin to make their way down. Put that God rock in and God will help you identify the other big rocks. Then all the other things can make their way down into your jar of life, amen? In everything you do, if you think you wanna do what you think I've done, then do what I've done and stick with God.